So uh, good morning or good afternoon everybody and welcome to uh, this webinar on Blueback Blueprint uh, which is a new product for the Patrol platform uh, bringing efficient reporting and standardized QA QC uh, to Patrol. So the agenda for the webinar we're going to uh, run through an introduction to the plugin and the concept in PowerPoint and then move into a live demo in Patrol. Um, uh, in the demo we'll sort of look through the the blueprint elements and objects within Patrol I then run a simple blueprint workflow uh, so as an, an administrator create a blueprint report template xml file and export then as a user read the uh, file into patrol complete uh, or interact with the, the report object and then export as a word document and then i'll break out the questions uh, if any have come in um, uh, via the hosting facility so um so Blueprint is a new plugin for the Patrol platform from Pascal, from Segal, formerly of course uh, Blueback Reservoir. Uh, and it brings fast and standardised quality assurance and reporting to Patrol. So Patrol users are often under time pressure to produce reports for model updates, peer review, project handover, audit, etc. And reporting of this nature can be time consuming and is all the more e effective if it is standardised and consistent across a company. So Blueprint allows you to embed reporting structures into Patrol to begin to standardize and automate different reporting workflows directly from Patrol. So customizable Blueprint reports are embedded to the input tree. The report is then available for the user to have to hand during a Patrol session. The report can be configured to guide what the geoscientist is required to report, as well as being configured to run a wide range of geomodel auto QC. So the first stage in the Blueprint workflow in the blueprint workflow is for the administrator typically a senior geologist or modeling advisor uh, to use the template editor in patrol to build the desired report structure the editor is used to add sections qc plots questions uh, data tables requests for information uh, finally the report structure can be reviewed and then saved out to an xml file to a read only location the next stage in the workflow is for the user to read the XML template into their projects. So from within Patrol, a user opens Blueprint via Blueback Home, uh, picks up the XML template via Create Report, selects what grid, parameters, volumetrics uh, are to be used to generate the QC elements. And finally, Apply will embed the report into the input tree for the user to have to hand and interact with during the Patrol session. The final stage of the workflow is for the user to dynamically interact with the report during the Patrol session. Uh, they can receive guidance, respond to requests for information, and then execute to build all of the QC plots that have been built into the templates. Lastly, the user can export to a docx with company template, uh, formatting, table of contents, etc. So the fully customizable reporting structure can be configured directly within Patrol to cover many different reporting workflows. Um, elements can be easily added to uh, define report sections and structures, uh, provide guidance via tooltips, uh, make requests for information, uh, add in screenshot ports. Uh, users can dynamically add or uh, additional data to a report template that's, that's not uh, been configured in the XML. Um, so that's the report uh, template and report structure itself. Of course, on top of this, you can also use the report to embed uh, auto QC plots. So Blueprint offers uh, um, several auto QC engines and processes to allow for consistent and standardized QC uh, to be generated within each, in each report. So we have uh, the trend analyzer, property maps, volumetric maps, report tables, and a whole load of tabular uh, information can be embedded into each report. So Trend Analyzer is the main auto QC engine available in this plugin. It's possible to create many different types of plots and automatically include standardized plots in all reports. Uh, plots include structural maps, zone thickness or isochores, um, average net, height, volumetric maps, box plots, histograms, statistical QC, cross plots, intersections, fascist proportion curves, fascist proportion maps, uh, horizontal vertical tre trends. So all of these plots can also be configured to be included in the report by zone, segment or fascies. Again all of these uh, plots examples that you can see here will be generated within a blueprint report object in Patrol and then can of course be exported to a Word document um, at the end. 
So on top of Trend Analyzer, we have a property map engine, which allows you to uh, make a comparison of key model statistics side by side, along with distributions and statistics. Um, we have a volumetric map engine, which allows you to plot bulk, net, poor, stoke, git maps side by side, uh, along with tabular summaries. Uh, and then we also have a load of um, uh, tabular elements that can be enabled within reports to provide uh, grid information, in information on faults, um, histories of grids and parameters, uh, volumetric tables, history of the report object itself. So examples of blueprint workflows. Um, so uh, workflow one, uh, user response to reporting requests during a patrol session. So this involves creating a template to guide and standardize user reporting requirements during a patrol session. So you can embed questions to challenge the user, provide guidance as to what needs to be reported and documented. The user then interacts with the report during a patrol session, uh, responds to the request for information, as well as executing the Blueprint Auto QC elements uh, if they are added to this workflow. Another example of a Blueprint workflow is a report that be can be configured to require no user response at all. This requires a template configured just to run the grid through the Auto QC engines only. Um, so a user simply parameterizes the, the plots and then clicks to execute, uh, refreshing all the plots within the, pl in the report. This essentially allows you to quickly extract standardized model QC metrics, plots, volumes um, from all projects from all users. Lastly, the, re the report objects can be exported to DocX, uh, including company formatting, table of contents, and so on. Okay, so we're going to jump into um, Patrol. Um, so we're going to take a quick uh, run through Blueprint in Patrol. We're going to look at the key Blueprint elements and objects um, within Patrol. And then run a simple workflow to create a report using the template editor uh, from the perspective of a Blueprint administrator or someone who wants to uh, configure the templates and receive standardized QC and responses to standard questions from um, users for peer review, for example. Uh, we'll then export this template to a central location, then put our user hat on, read in the report template into my working project, interact with the report as requested, run the QC engines and export a Word document from Patrol. So the key blueprint elements, um, firstly, we have the um, report objects, which are held here in the report folder. So as you can see, it's possible to have many different report objects in one project. Uh, of course, these can be configured to uh, have different structures, run different types of QC, cover different reporting workflows. Um, reports are opened via the context menu. So this is an example of a report that's been configured to challenge users with questions and requests for information to document in QC um, a full field modeled rebuild, for example. So if I collapse all, you can see I have uh, embedded some challenges and questions to provide information around the seismic inputs that have gone into a, a particular model rebuild, information around the petrophysical um, input that's gone into the, the model, um, as well as running some uh, automatic QC on the, the fascist uh, side of things, for example. So the other example, another example of a report here is a report that's been configured just to run the auto QC only. So again, this is a, an example that requires no user input at all, essentially. So everything you see in this report object has been automatic, automatically generated within um, Patrol. So I have a whole bunch of um, sort of fascist uh, intersection maps, uh, vertical proportion curves, um, permeability QC, so box plots of permeability um, uh, by zone, my volumetric tables uh, and maps. So they are the blue, an int quick introduction to the Blueprint report objects. Um, the other key Blueprint element in Patrol is the QC engine, which is accessed by Blueback Home in 2013, uh, Blueback Marina in 2014. Just open Blueback Blueprint, and this opens um, Blueprint within uh, Blueback Home. Um, So I'll give you a run through uh, of all the different uh, plots within these engines. 
Um, and just remember, everything you see in these plot windows now uh, can be automatically configured to be written into a Blueprint report object and then out to Word. Um, so just a quick run through the QC plots. You can choose to use all of them. Some of them split them out by fasci, zone, control the sequence in the report to satisfy different workflows, course combined with questions and guidance. Um, so to start off with, in Reporter Trend Analyzer, we have a map tab. So we have a whole different bunch of maps within the uh, available within uh, the map type. Um, so we have a fasci's proportion plot here. <clears throat> you can also choose to embed or enable, you know, average parameter maps, volume height maps, net maps, um, zone thickness, which is a, a an ice core map essentially. Um, or, for example, top horizon maps can all be enabled and embedded into the report, um, along with, for example, um, segment maps. We can embed um, intersections, uh, parameter intersections, which can be controlled directly uh, within the report object itself. Horizontal sort of azimuth um, uh, projection plots, uh, vertical trend maps, or porosity depth maps, for example, or plots. Um, block box plots for upscaling QC, so you compare your um, well log um, box plot distributions with your upscaled distributions overlaid with the, the relevant data points. Uh, Fasci proportion plots, which is your vertical proportion curves. Cross plots of porosity permeability, for example, um, and histograms. Uh, so prosty or parameter histograms uh, by zone or segment or fasces. Um So there, uh, the plots within trend, analy uh, trend analyzer. We also have a, a property map engine, which allows you to display key model parameters and stats uh, for a multi-property review, kind of side by side, and also a volumetric engine, which will allow you to embed volumetric maps by zone or fasces uh, along with uh, associated uh, statistics. So the key message here is that every plot you have just seen can be automatically generated uh, within Blueprint. Can also be, of course, used as standalone QC. Um, so we can embed all these into a report along with additional tabular displays, which we'll work through um, in the template editor. Um, okay, so let's put our Blueprint administrator hat on and we're gonna start to build um, a, a template file that we can save out to a read-only location that then our user community can pick up, interact with interact with in their user sessions, uh, allowing me as an administrator to receive a standardized set of uh, QC and reports directly from Patrol. Um, so the way this works is to take any existing report object, um, open it, and then put it into edit mode. So the report object is open. I toggle here to put it into edit mode. Um, <clears throat> so this is a sort of a, a UI set on top of the, the XML file. Uh, and you can start to now uh, use these little buttons to add template elements. So I can add multi-plots, object histories, text prompts, questions. Plots, for example, can be added You know, to choose a, I want a map of um, average permeability in each zone. Uh, or remove uh, these various elements. So I'm just going to remove some of these and then we'll just work through quickly to um, rebuild some of them. So what I've left in here, um, so I've added a, um, a preface, which is essentially my project settings, uh, project location on disk. Uh, I've added here, I've added a section, called it regional info. Added some questions to provide some regional context, provide a screenshot of the, of the region. Um, I've then added another section, report section, and called it grid structure. I've added in a table, and from those the table options, selected a grids table, which is my IJK counts, min, max, XY. I've then embedded a map or a segment map, a fault table, um, my top horizon for each zone, so my structure maps and also a thickness map or an isocore uh, for each zone enabled in, in the report. Then I've embedded some questions. So just click here to add question. Have you run a QC of the modeling grid using the blueback 3D grid QC tool, for example? Please provide a screen capture. 
I then added another report section, called it fascist modeling, uh, challenged the user with some questions uh, about their fascist modeling workflows, then added the subsection, and here I've embedded uh, a, a plot, a map of um, top cell fasci, so I can sort of see the, the layer, top layer in each zone, colored by fascis to kind of see the, the shape and morphology of the fascist objects. I've then embedded a fascist proportion QC plot and also a vertical proportion curve. Um, so then I've enabled a new section called property modeling. I've embedded a tooltip here um, to provide some guidance to the user as to, you know, just to consider how important property modeling is um, uh, during the reservoir modeling process and, you know, to uh, document your considerations fully. I've then embedded some subsections. So uh, challenge the user to uh, run some upscaling QC as well as embedding some uh, box plots, porosity by zone, box plots, permeability by zone. Um, then run some porosity QC, permeability, water saturation QC. Again, embedded a question and a map of average porosity, uh, average water saturation by zone. Um, so we'll just complete the report by adding in the um, elements that we removed. So just to show you how this works, we're going to add um, a section and called it uh, multi-parameter review. Uh, I'm then going to add, choose to add a multi-plot, um, which is going to be of type of property, and I want it for each zone. So I just collapse that section, um, add a new section, so this is going to be our vol volume uh, QC. Here I'm going to add um, a table. This is going to be our volumes table. And then under here, I'm going to add a multiplot of volumetric maps for each zone. Last section is going to be um, our appendix. So in here, I'm going to add some object histories. Um, so we'll take our prosties and just add a few of these in. So we'll take our prosty, permeability, water saturation, and report object histories as part as our appendix. Um, so essentially, yeah, so this is the editor. You can add in what we call elements into the reports. So we essentially add a plot. Choose what plot type you want. So I want a map of... Um, you know, your volume height map of permeability in each zone. So add the element type and then parameterize it. Uh, and then this writes back to the XML file for the user to pick up. Um, so the next stage here is to toggle to export the templates. So you save it out as an XML file to uh, a read only location. Okay, so that's our, we can take our administrator hat off. And we're going to put our user hat on now. So as a user, um, I come into Patrol and you know I've been asked to pick up a particular report template, bring it into my project and complete the report. So what I need to do is pick up the project templates. Um, so if I pick up this demo template, so this is the XML file that we've edited or created with the template editor. Here you can see that tooltip that we embedded um, and uh, our um, uh, appendix, so our object histories for permeability, water saturation, etc. I can then also define a .x to define uh, company formatting within the output word object. I then also need to choose the parameters that will be used to generate the auto QC plots. Um, so I pick a grid, my properties, well logs, volumetric cases, uh, parameters to create the volume maps, and any filter selections um, that we want to apply. So I'm going to toggle apply. It's going to read this XML file and you'll see a new report object um, come into the input tree. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, so if it just collapse all here, so you basically see that same report structure we, we configured with the editor. So I have my preface, so this kind of uh, high-level information about the project. 
So I'm then now going to work through as a user uh, and kind of provide the responses that I've uh, been asked to. So, okay, so please provide some regional context to the field. I'm just going to do a bit of um, copy paste here. Okay, so we're using good old Gullfax, of course. Oops. Uh, okay, so please provide a screenshot of the field blocks and quads. So I can use the embedded screenshot facility to kind of start to capture information um, directly from within patrol uh, and embed it into report. So the grid structure. Um, so I see my grids table. So these are the uh, QC plots before they've been refreshed. So as a user, I can choose to individually refresh each plot um, as I work through the report uh, by clicking here to, to refresh the plot port. So the engine uh, will sort of uh, now generate the plot, which is um, the segment map. Uh, or I can choose to run uh, a refresh on all plots uh, in one go. So we're just going to work through now and uh, uh, work through the, the questions. So I have my segment map, my fault info, some QC plots which need to be refreshed. Another question here, have you run a QC of the modeling grid? Um, so, you know, yes, I have run a QC of the modeling grid and it's okay for simulation. So please provide a screen capture of the 3D grid QC tool. So this is the output from our, our grid QC tool that allows you to check QC the orthogonality of your cells in your, your modeling grid, which we can capture there. So Fashi's modeling, so some questions. Um, so how does your Fashi's modeling workflow relate to your underlying geological assumptions? Uh, user provides answer. How have you modeled the Fashi's? Okay, so I have um, you know used these particular setup in the Fashi's modeling job. There's then going to be a whole bunch of um, auto QC that's run. So moving into the property modeling, I can see there's some information here. So this is the, the tool tip that we've embedded to provide guidance around the considerations of this particular part of the modeling workflow. So the upscaling QC, okay, have you run the Blueback Upscale Log QC tool? Uh, yes, I have. And uh, the distributions are honored within acceptable thresholds. So I can capture the output from our upscale log QC, which gives you a, basically a prosty permeability water saturation averages for each well or zone by zone in each well, um, and then calculates the difference and shows you the, the percentage difference. Um, so more, some more QC plots. So again, this is all gonna be auto-generated QC. Um, I think there was another question in the, the water saturation. So how have you determined your contacts in the model? Um, okay, so, so as a user, I have, um, I've run the data through the Blueback pressure gradient tool to determine my contacts. So as a user, I want to capture this, this particular plot. So just to show you now that as a user, you can also add in uh, additional information. So there wasn't a screenshot port enabled, so I can now capture the, the contacts that have been calculated in our pressure gradient tool and also capture um, the contacts as they were ran through our water saturation modeling process to generate the water saturation uh, in the grid. So at the end, we have our multi-parameter review, the volumetrics and the appendix. Sorry, the volumetric table has already been built and the appendix, all the tabular information gets populated up front. Um, so final job as a user is to uh, obviously run a refresh to generate all of the QC plots. Uh, so I have one that I prepared earlier. So again, if we just collapse all, so we can work through and see that the um, the grid structure has the QC plots that have now been calculated with the top structure maps for each zone that was enabled, uh, the I-score maps, uh, the 3D grid QC has been captured. We've answered our questions about the fascist modeling. Uh, we captured some information on the, the uh, morphology of the fascist objects, run our fascist proportion map QC by zone, got our vertical proportion curves, 
in the property modeling, yeah, you know, we've captured information on our upscaling, we've got our box plots, QC. Um, in the water saturation, we've answered our questions, captured the information, generated our average water saturation maps. We then have our multi-parameter reviews, volumetric tables, maps, and finally our appendix. Um, so just so you know, as a user, I can also edit any of these plots. So I can toggle here to open this plot back in Trend Analyzer, you know, change the wells that are displayed, add the contours. Um, if you want to tweak the kind of display settings, that's also possible as a user. So the final job here is to export to a docx. Um, so you just click the toggle, give it a location, and then you can see that we quickly um, pull out a report with the formatting that we've um, defined. I can choose to update here the um, table of contents. Um, we then have our preface information, the uh, information we captured on the regional. Uh, we're asked to capture about the regional uh, setting. Our grid structure, our grid tables, segment map, faults, tables, then work through all the same information we just looked at within Patrol. So our structure maps, isocores, 3D QC, fascist QC, uh, vertical proportion curves, upscale and log QC, box plots QC, average maps, um, distribu histogram distributions by data, uh, by fascies, depth trends, um, average permeability maps, permeability height maps, pressure gradient, water saturation, uh, modeling, maps, multi-parameter review, volumetric QC, volumetric maps, then the appendix, and finally the information about what went into parameterizing this particular report. Um, so basically we've completed uh, the workflow. So kind of just to hope you can see how you can start to standardize uh, and extract consistent QC from all patrol projects, you know, from all users. Um, start to implement, you know, your specific reporting requirements that you have directly in patrol. Um, and I guess that's it for the, the demo. So I'm just going to jump back to um, patrol, uh, sorry, PowerPoint. Um, okay, so in summary, uh, Blueprint allows you to uh, implement efficient reporting and standardized QC, uh, receiving standardized QC directly from Patrol. Fully customizable reporting templates allow you to satisfy many different reporting workflows. Uh, embedding guidance and uh, questions allows you to sort of challenge and control uh, what a geoscientist reports and documents in Patrol. Uh, and essentially this can be, you know, rolled out to all users and uh, allow you to generate consistent QC and metrics from all users kind of company-wide. Um, so this product is now live on the Ocean Store, so ocean.slb.com. Um, of course, we're offering free evaluations. We can support you with building your templates, files, um, and provide ongoing support through an evaluation. It's sales.geo at segal.com for further information. So just let me see uh, if we have any questions that have come in. Oh, come on. <clears throat> Okay, so a question from Luke. Do you capture the data analysis steps um, to show how non-stationary processes are represented? Um, at the moment, it's difficult to, uh, most of the data analysis isn't available through the Ocean API at the moment. Um, therefore, um, it's uh, a kind of screenshot job um, at the moment. Um, but we will continue to, to look at it. We can possibly work with SS to sort of see if they would uh, make the data analysis um, available um, through Ocean for us to interact with. Um, another question. Um, 
So blueprint, yeah, how long does it take to run the reports? Can it be constrained um, to particular zone segments, fashies? Yes, um, that can all be configured through create report. So rather than running um, the the Q, all the QC plots and uh, reports against the full grid in create report, you can choose to uh, you know choose a particular uh, zone or subzone, uh, a subset of segments, or even a uh, a particular subset of fascies um, if you want to. Um, yes, we also have um, support for, I know I'm working in 2013 at the moment, the product is currently available for 2013 and 14 and will be available for 2015 uh, kind of uh, on within the next week. Um, is it possible to export to PowerPoint? No, not currently. Um, however, um, it's something we will probably look at for uh, the next release. Um, okay, so if there's any more questions, uh, please feel free to send them through to um, sales.geo at um, Okay, so thank you everybody for your attendance. Um, okay, thank you uh, and goodbye for now.